One of the most sought-after rivalries from around the world. It's the England champions taking on the Australia champions here at the Ease My Trip World Champions of Legends. Match number seven. We just had the toss. The Australia champions winning the toss and put the England champions into bat. Kevin Peterson, uh, skipper Phil Mustard, Ian Bell, Bopara, Oesha, Schofield bowling really well. Cameron O'Brien in the 11. Darren Maddy, Usman Afzal. Ryan side bottom and Mika. That's their side. It's a pretty strong side. The England champions and Samit Patel, who was part of the team, is not playing today. And Australia champions looking very strong, led by Brett Lee, then Aaron Finch in top form, Ferguson, Tim Payne, Dunk, Cutting, Dan Christian, Lowen, Coulton Isle, Siddle, and Dorothy. So both sides look great on the papers. It's about who can do the job on the day. He's off the mark straight away. The England captain, a little push through mid wicket. Catch is the call, and they won't catch that. That's over. The rope from Ease My Trip 6. It's just a little pick-me-up. Think of any left-hander down the years Catch. opening the batting. I think Salat Jayasaria. Peterson yeah, yeah, yeah. hoists him high. It's up there oh. and it's gone. It's down. He's in really attacking mode. Mustard. Gone straight up. Siddle says he wants it. Now Tim Payne says, I'll take it. Tim Payne eventually takes it because Siddle said he wanted it. And Tim Payne said, no, I'll take it. Taking charge of the situation when you've seen two go down already. Siddle wanted it. Payne wanted it. Phil Muston was going to get involved for a little minute just to add a little bit of more. Kevin Peterson gone for five. England 20 for one. It's gone up again. Long way, high up in the sky, and a very good catch. Ben Lachlan, how safe were those hands then? It would have been out of place, a corner forward for Collingwood Magpies at the MCG. Look at this, take the mark, yes please. Punt it through the post for three. Brett Lee gets another. Phil Mustard, bright and breezy, gone for 20, 28 for two. That's going to run away for four. A nice little touch from uh, Ian Bell. And that's uh, running away. Tim Payne, no chance of stopping that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's steered nicely through the gap. That's going to go for four. Timing was so good. Timed it beautifully. Might go for four. Yes, it does. Yeah, ball nice and straight. Little too straight on that occasion. Four to finish the power play. 61 for two. Short. Can't bowl there to Ian Bell. If you watch Ian Bell or watched Ian Bell throughout his career, he picks up on length really quick. Slower on that occasion and uh, went through the fielder, dived over the ball. You've got to be really, really careful here. You don't want to leak too many runs, don't give them easy runs. Nicely warmed up for the big one that's coming a little bit later on this afternoon. That's a big one, that's a big Ease My Trip 6. Seems like in slow motion he comes out, but he leaves the crease so late. Doesn't give Waller any chance to pull his length back and testing him. And then he doesn't hold back anything. So that's nicely tucked away. Again, he didn't have to really work hard for that stroke. The ball was there, but still, to put it away is class. 
Not this man. Not this man. It's in the air. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. Finch. Finch was the man. It was only maybe a foot away from the line. Brilliantly taken. As soon as you he hit it, you thought this is going for an ease my trip six. You think he's got all of it, and maybe because the lack of pace, and it came off the bottom of the back, got himself in a good position, good catch. Bupara gone for 22, it's 95 for three. Oh, Jesus. He gets through, and Xavier Duhati gets one to go past Ian Bell. Got the start. Was looking to capitalize that start? Oh, just misread the length. He did, didn't he? It gives you the impression that it kept low, but it hit the stump three quarters of the way up. So I'm not so sure it did keep low, but a, maybe a mis, uh, misunderstanding of length. Ian Bell's gone for 45. England are 99 for four. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's nicked it. A very nice piece of bowling. And Dan Christian has got his man, and Kevin O'Brien's on the walk back. Quickly for the England champions, back at the length, there's just that sort of length. He was looking to run it down towards third man, the outside edge. Nice and easy catch there for Tim Payne. And this is the stage of the game that you want wickets in hand. Kevin O'Brien departs for naught, it's 100 for five. Four. That's hit very hard. Straight through Xavier Doherty. That's the kind of uh, stroke play we see from Ali Brown. He likes to go hard at the ball. That's a big blow. Big straight six. He's my trip six. Straight back over the bowler's head. They need to just try and get this run rate up a little bit. Made his name, Alistair Brown in the 90s, being an aggressive opener. 100 in it, one day international against India at Old Trafford. That's got to be out. Absolutely stone. Was well, going on to hit middle stump, full and straight from Lachlan, and it's the end of Ali Brown. Just out thinking the batter here. Yeah, that's not particularly a very good shot. Moving too early towards that offside and right in front of that middle stump, Plum. Ali Brown out for 26 of 20, 143 for 6, England champions. Oh, he's gone for the short delivery and just like slip catching practice, just put it straight in Tim Pen Payne's hand and Brett Lee has another wicket. Sort of a bouncer, it was not really a bouncer because you can't bowl a bouncer but it was just high and Osmanov still played three shots before he just lobbed it back to Tim Payne and all smiles for the Australian champions and Osmanov's allowed for one 146 for seven England champions got enough you bet he's got enough he's my trip six from OA Shaw and the 150 is up for England getting better off the bowler it was a slower delivery in the arc in the slot for Oesha and um, with that six, it's five sixes in the innings so far for England champions. Dragged on. Brettley will take that wide delivery. He's just called for, I think, another another boot. Whether he split that boot or whatever it is, but it is the end of Oesha. Again, a slow delivery. The length is the key, and Oesha tried to go onside to a ball which was six or seven stump towards the offside and the boot straight away raising his hand and asking for a new boot out of 25 of 26 England champions 153 for eight in the air should be taken should be taken the bowler gets underneath it easy caught a better one than that earlier on and England finish their innings, 20 overs done. England get themselves to 160 for nine. The owners and the Aussie team are delighted with that effort. 
England who were put into bat then by Brett Lee. Not so early wickets, Peterson went early. 20 from Phil Mustard, another classic innings from Bell, 45. 20s for Bopara, Oish Shah and Brown and 160 for 9 from 20. Yeah, if you talk about the bowling, Brett Lee, peak of the bowlers with three wickets and a couple of wickets for each, Dan Christian and Lowen. The Aussie champions, when they come back for the chase, they need 161 runs to win this game. Yeah, straight away. Good. Oh, and the slip has gone out. And where is the slip? And why is he taking out? And now an inside edge, nutmegs, and it's all going the way yeah. of the man from WA. Yeah. Yes, mate. Oh, a lovely touch. Don't bother chasing it. Don't bother chasing it here, Bell, because it's four. Wait on. Four more. He gave himself a little bit of width there, Aaron Finch, and he pummeled it past Chris Schofield in cover. Well, there's a deep cover going out, but Ravi Bapara, as fit, healthy and as fast as you are, you won't get there. Pulled away beautifully by Sean Marsh. I mentioned growing up in Perth, being very effective on the short ball, and that's, it's a hit-me ball. Three done. Goes down the ground. It's Darren Maddy. He's the smallest man on the pitch. They needed Solomon Ben there. It's an ease mice trip six. Sweep over Shah with a new ball. It's always a better idea to go downtown. Slow ball. Sean Marsh picks it and he just lobs it over Kevin Peterson's head. This is like taking candy from a baby here for the Australian champions. They're smoking England. Swept away, 50 up for Australia. They're on the march. Shot. Yes, that's a big blow for six. And ease my trip. Six over straight mid wicket. Schofield disappears. It's another ease my trip six. Part of the uh, staff can't stop him at the moment. It's gone again. Over extra this time. Easy, easy, ease my trip six. Well, remember that the highest score in the power play at the moment is 77. Oh, look at this. Well, that's an absolute pie, and it's been put on the rubbish dump for an ease my trip six. Yeah, you, you're not going to stop these two from scoring from this position. They just want this game done and dusted. They've already watched Australia beat Wales, Allen at rugby. Yes, 25-16 that score was. It's another one of those ease my trip sixes. Oh, it's literally boundary after boundary maybe the players in these two teams are also looking forward to India versus Pakistan and they want it over with quickly Do they? get underneath it Kevin O'Brien does not drop them he has a good pair of hands Kevin O'Brien the man with the green shoes he's a very good outfielder he's got strong awareness skills here knew exactly where he was it's a good catch Chris Schofield for the moment is not being bashed around the ground Sean Marsh has gone for 42 Australia 88 for one hey, oh, oh, that's a great hit Aaron Finch bullet straight for six and he's my trip six he's 48 from 19 he's got a strike rate of 252 and the Aussies they want to sit down and watch this uh, second game on Super Saturday. Usman Abzal. Oh, 
50 for Finch, his second in the competition. He is leading run scorer, he looks in fine fettle. Always been a good, strong hitter, leads from the front. The fastest 50 of the tournament as well. Three fours and five ease my trip sixes. It's a huge, absolutely huge hit from Aaron Finch. He's gone straight into the public stands. Five sixes in his last ten balls. Five ease my trip sixes. Hey, oh, what's he doing? He's oh, he's nicked it. He's nicked it. Aaron Finch. Left-handed. And he's on the way back. It's good for him, uh, Usman Asel. It just follows him. Look. Goes into that left-handed position, cut away. OK hands from Phil Mustard. Yeah, good uh, performance. Another half century in the competition. 56 and 23, one tenth for two. Pump down the ground, so straight, so hard, so flat. And that is another ease my trip six. It's the energy that uh, and Finn started and Ben Dunk found one in the slot and dispatches it in style and powerfully struck parallel six now it's gone high in the air Alistair Brown looked like he would made the ground and the ball just died on him well catches the call Kevin O'Brien he will not drop it he has got buckets he might not get any runs, but he's got a catch. Navi Kalik. Yeah, he's uh, somebody who's been playing cricket all around the world. Really well judged on that occasion by Kevin O'Brien, looking to contribute for his team England champions. Big smile by Osha in the end, uh, picks up a wicket. Ben Dunk, going for 19 of just nine deliveries. It's 133 for three. Leg side, Darren Maddy, who out? Ali Brown. Your pardon. He catches at the third attempt. Oh, England, they've got two in the over. Finally, this one uh, closer to Ali Brown. Really well judged. Colin Ferguson must be thinking that he's probably got enough off it, but really well judged on that occasion. Another wicket uh, falls for the Australia champion. Callum Ferguson departs for 11. It's 134 for four. Up and over the offside, it's a fantastic shot. It really is a lovely, lovely ease my trip six. But he was dancing down the track. And one of those shots that you feel like he just eased into hitting that ease my trip six inside out. Goes again. Another ease my trip six. Dan Christian is a very powerful striker of the ball. And he wants to get back to the hotel for a bath. <laughs> Well, they're just one hit away from winning this game as well. Down the ground, Ben Cutting. We saw that in the IPL final for SRH. And he's my trip six to win the game for the Australian champions and put them on top of the ladder here on a bright and blustery Birmingham afternoon. Australia champions up. Won this game by six wickets. It's been raining sixes as well for the Australia champions, hitting 13 sixes. Looking to chase down 161. Looking to chase down 161. Sean Marsh, 42. Aaron Finch played really well as well. That uh, important partnership between the two, 56 of just 23 for Aaron Finch. Ben Dunk, 19 from nine. And then uh, Cutting and Christian. Just finishing the game as well. Ryan Sidebottom had a couple of chances early on when he was bowling. That went to begging, didn't pick up a wicket. Overshaw picked up two wickets. Wicket apiece for Schofield and Afzal as well. It's confirmation of us how Australia champions won this game by six wickets. 160 by the England champions. Ian Bell played well, 45. Brown, 26. But Bradley picking up three important wickets. Dan Christian two wickets, Lachlan picking up two wickets and with a chase and Finch and Marsh just set it up beautifully 56 and 42 
and Dan Christian and Ben Dunk finishing this game.